Thank you, Elena. What a beautiful and Thank powerful <laughs> storytelling. Before I let you go, I do have one question. Yes. What was the most challenging part of filming this documentary for you? Um, knowing which part of the Bitcoin mining story I was going to focus on. Because I started with energy and then I started n noticing more things and seeing more things and hearing more things. You went down the rabbit hole? I went down the <laughs> rabbit hole, yes, with a bunch of miners. And there, there's really so much to say when it comes to Bitcoin and mining and everything that we're doing here. But I decided to just focus on the energy side because it's the side where even if people aren't aware of Bitcoin, they're still affected positively by it. Um, communities in Paraguay, Malawi. Um, we asked the lady, so what is Bitcoin? And she's like, I don't know, I've never heard of it, right? So here's this uh, technology that's helping transform their lives and they, uh, it's, they're seeing the electrical effects of it before they ever get to have a Bitcoin wallet. So mining gets to be a positive effect for them first. And so that's why I think that that's the story that I wanted to focus on. Thank you for sharing that. I mean, you traveled to different parts of the world. Four was continents. There, what yeah. was the most deeply moving part for you? Um, you know, it has to be Malawi because I didn't physically go to Malawi. I sent a crew and I zoomed in and I, and it, between shots and between interviews, I would hear the kids like laughing and singing. Um, and so, that whole time, I never felt like, oh, these poor people, you know, because they were just so happy that I felt like, wow, these are happier than the kids that we have back home. So I don't really know if they're, you know, poor people, right? They're, they're very happy um, singing people. So I would say that for me was uh, very impactful that, yes, now they can have TV in their house so they can watch the news. I don't know how good that is, but they also have lights in the, in the hospital and in the school. Um, the streets are safer, the kids can stay indoors, or not indoors, but like yeah. in their village. So yeah, so I would say that was, that was it. And I think you weaved some of that laughter into the storytelling, which I thought was actually quite powerful. So thank you, thank you for sharing that story, Alana, and for premiering your movie Stranded here. I think we're quite lucky to have watched it. I know it moved me. Thank you, okay, thank you. <laughs>